How you doing today, folks? So just a little brief forward for you. Um, the uh, response for the giveaway has been tremendous, the uh, holiday charity giveaway. Um, I actually have people that are donating knives. Like, you know, it's supposed to be me donating to them. Um, there's, uh, I think, nine knives uh, so far coming, all kind of budgety, but, you know, high-quality budget, American-made Kershaw's and rat, and, or, excuse me, rat ones and stuff like that. Um, so all quality budget knives, but, you know, it's just crazy to me. Like, this is supposed to be my whole thing about giving back to the community, and you guys are so fucking great, you're trying to give back to me to make my burden less on the community. Like, it's, I love you guys, just straight up. I was not expecting that. I appreciate it so much. Um, please, nobody feel pressured to donate. It's definitely very, very appreciated, but by no means necessary. And it kind of defeats the point, but I'm happy to get it. I'm happy to pass it along. And, you know, so it's originally going to be a, a five person thing. Um, but, you know, knives are being donated on top of the stuff I was going to buy anyways. So I'm just going to up it. You know, again, if you don't fit like the the immediate criteria for what my whole thing is, then um, you know you won't be part of that original five. But chances are you'll get something sent to you anyways, because this community is awesome. So for that one, don't thank me. Thank the community you are a part of and you all help build. So without further ado, enjoy the video. I love you all and take care. All right, so we have two unboxings today. One is this one, which is going to be pretty brief. And the other is this, this beast, this beautiful, beautiful thing that I am looking so forward to. So let's get into it. Paranized Warlock. Look at that clean cut. Who can sharpen a knife? <laughs> All right, so this is a lanyard that I won through a Halloween contest. Uh, me and my wife both submitted pictures and surprisingly enough, mine won. Ha ha honey. But no, seriously, her picture was awesome. I actually prefer it over mine, but for whatever reason, mine won. But uh, either way, it's very cool. I like this little, I think it's a resin bead. It's very interesting. I don't have too many black and orange knives, so not sure what I'm gonna do with the Actual lanyard might be a reason to go buy another knife. <laughs> uh, comes with a couple stickers, hard work of art. That's cool. Uh, we sticker, we knife company, another we knife company. That is a badass owl. I actually love that. I want to try to find just a big picture of that owl. Maybe put on a shirt or something. I'd wear that. I'm that kind of knife guy. Uh, that's about it for the package. So, I have no idea how to tie lanyards. I don't know how I'm going to attach this. So, if any of you want to help me out on that one in the comment section, I would appreciate it. This thing is, uh, it's cool, but the lanyards I have are tied really terribly, and they're just threaded straight through. Instead of having this little double knot here, or pre-tied thing, so I'm not too sure this is gonna work. It's, a lot of people sell them like this, so there has to be something to it. It's probably something really simple I'm just not paying attention to. But uh, worst comes to worst, a little Halloween noose. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the big one. That is a really um, different looking pouch. <laughs> Couple pieces of packing paper and empty. All right. So first impressions on the pouch. It's like a old '70s dirty sketch carpet. I don't. I don't know. This is this is a weird one. 
I probably wouldn't have picked out this pouch. But in it is this beautiful Thai Mascus Moku Thai sheepdog knife. Look at that right there, man. How many knives you see with a Moku Thai thumb disc? Now the bolsters, it's one thing. The clip, one thing. The backspacer, one thing. But a thumb disc? Man, love it. First flip, fail. <laughs> and another fail. Let's try that one more time. Nope. There we go. So the uh, cut out right here, I wish it was a little bit higher. You know, the thumb disc is about right here. And you have all this room to get it in. But for right here, it's just where it is. It's, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, you can definitely get it. You know, just go down and, you know, it comes out pretty quickly when you get it. Uh, I have no doubt I'll be figuring this one out. But for right now, so far, not so good. <laughs> Um, but the action in terms of just the smoothness, once you break that detent, um, it's very smooth. There is a, eh, there's a little bit of lock rock or lock rock blade wiggle, whatever you want to call it. But, um, this is a full custom knife. This is a cu full custom by Sheepdog Knives. It's, man, that is just ridiculously smooth. It's almost hydraulic feeling. So because of the uh, thumb disc, you can open it, you know, again, just a regular roll, thumb flick, that worked out pretty well. Um, let's try a spidey flick. I'm not good at spidey flicks in general, so I have very low expectations. Bad. Bad. <laughs> there we go. So you can definitely spidey flick it. Um, I'm not gonna open it that way because that's just not my strong suit at all but you can definitely do it let's take a moment to comment on these bolsters right here this is just absolutely beautiful i do love a bolstered knife um there's not too many nowadays that do the whole bolster look it's kind of an old school thing but uh man i wish that would come back and this clip that is beautiful not too sure why it doles out down here. Like this is more vibrant. This seems to taper off in terms of the uh, vibrancy of it, but still very nice. Um, it's a smaller knife, so you can see my, my hands almost eat this thing. Like This is not my ideal, um, but the price is right to give it a shot. I will get the hang of uh, opening this thing eventually. Probably not before the video is over. Yep, bad. There we go but I will get it. I will get it. So a couple size comparisons. First off, current EDC. This is still in my pocket. I've started carrying multiple knives just to, you know, review other knives, but like this, the Atom, man, the Atom is just incredible. Uh, also, the list for the TRM Adam will be opening uh, Monday at 12 p.m. Uh, I think it's mountain time. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a $15 deposit to be put on the list. And then afterwards, this will pretty much sit for a while. Um, it took me about a month and a half to get mine. Uh, you'll eventually get a, a email sent to your, excuse me, a PayPal invoice sent to your email. You pay that. And three days after I paid it, this was at my door. Very fast shipping, um, just an absolute amazing, amazing piece. Will come in this wonderful little dog box. I love this box. <laughs> um, but definitely go pick up an Atom, and it is just so smooth. It was so smooth out of the box, and it's just getting smoother every day. It is not drop shut, but I don't really like some drop shut knives, you know, for a thumb stud, I kind of like just to have that kind of just tactile feel of uh, being able to flick it open. That was a fail. It's my fault. It's on camera. There you go. See, 
right now I disengaged it and it's not dropping. You have to shake it a little bit and it just glides down. But for what this is, this is just perfect. But this is an impression of this video, this knife, not this knife. So definitely a little bigger than the Atom. Not by much. Actually, the Atom's a little bigger than this. Excuse me. The acid ratio is so hard to tell on camera. There's actually a lot of similarities between the uh, Sheepdog knife and the Atom. But the Atom is a little bit bigger, not by much. And it's a whole lot cheaper. A whole lot cheaper. This is... This is expensive. Okay. Not going to tell you all the price, but it was not cheap. And I got a pretty good deal for it. What it is normally is way worse. So, Paramilitary 2. Definitely smaller than the PM2. But it is very nice. Um, got three more for you. They we're gonna do these quick now. So bench made full size Griptilian. Pretty similar in size to the full size Griptilian. Um, the Griptilian's obviously fatter, a little bit longer, not by much though, but very close comparison. I have not shown this one on the channel yet. Um, this is the Mash Drop Orca. I have actually carried and loved this knife for oh man, maybe. A year now maybe a little, a little over that also has a beautiful mokutai clip and hardware and these kind of bolster like things great this is my reot by the way so it's not really a flipper you can open it like that if you have herculean strength but or a thumb set opener but it flips out like a rocket so the uh, orca is almost identical it looks a little bit bigger and on the camera but um it's not it's pretty much identical in terms of size orca is a smaller knife very edc friendly and we have the new beast if y'all haven't noticed i have not been throwing out the heater too much anymore still have it still love it but uh just love this a bit more. Man, look how big that knife is. <laughs> Definitely smaller than the Custom Knife Factory Muscle, for sure. But this isn't the easiest to EDC. I like big knives, and this is this is a little much. But I love it. Definitely carry it. So, as far as overall first impressions on this knife... Now, visuals, I genuinely have zero complaints. A few issues. Um, I wish this blade wasn't quite so, uh, you know, darkened. I understand just the manufacturer style. This isn't because it's super old or beat up or anything like that. This is just how he likes to do his stuff. Um, but I do wish it was a, not quite satin, maybe like a heavy stone wash, maybe just to match this. It does match it, kind of but it's just, it's not quite there. Um, so either you know, a light stone wash or at the very or at the very least, uh, just kind of have it match this titanium slab here. But as is, it's still very nice for the aesthetic wise. Again, I wish the clip was a little more uh, vibrant throughout. This top piece is very nice and it kind of tapers down here. Um, there's also some scratching on this, but that's nothing to do with the manufacturer of the previous owner. This has definitely been carried folks. But it is absolutely beautiful. And I love, 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 love that Mokutai thumb disc. I've never seen that. Now, as far as action, um, oh, there we go. It does rock it out when you are manage to properly press that thumb disc. Um, again, I'm, I mean, for I guess it's in the right place for where it sits for the majority of thumb disc opening knives. Um, but just it's makes it into a very small piece. I wish it was just a little bit higher up, and the opening would have been so much nicer because I had all this room to get in there. But I mean, you can still definitely do it. There you go, took two tries, but um, but it is something to definitely take notice of. So the blade, 
I believe this is $10.95, um, but the uh, person I purchased this from raves about the quality of it. You know, I, I guess the man just does an absolutely incredible job. Um, it is also pretty close to touching the scale. So I'm going to try to see if I can't fix that up a little bit. But um, it's definitely not centered. So overall, opinions on this knife as far as a first impression score. Unfortunately, probably have to give this about maybe a 65. Now, if we're talking about just aesthetics, 10. This is going to be in pictures. I'm probably going to be using this quite a bit. I'm really excited to test out the steel. Because I guess the heat treat is just absolutely incredible on this. So I'm really excited to see what this can do when just a master heat treats it. But, um, you know, there are definitely some problems. I don't know if you can hear that. When you disengage the actual lock, it I'm not sure why. Um, there's a lot of wiggle. There's some wiggle just in general. That might be because the, the pivot's loose. I'm not really sure. This is an unboxing, so I haven't had a chance to mess with it, mess with it at all. Uh... But there are a few different different issues here. Um, I think 65 might be kind of, you know, brutal, honestly. But uh, just for what this knife is, you know, this re this is like a full custom. This isn't just uh, something you're going to just find somewhere. Like, this is a completely custom-made piece. So for it to have those problems at all, to me, is just it's kind of a problem. And this isn't a big manufacturer piece where thousands of them or even hundreds of them are popped out. You know, this was done by hand. So to be done by hand and to not see these things and fix them, it's it's a problem for me. So because of the custom factor of this alone, again, I'm gonna have to give it a 65. Um, that's not saying this is bad. If this is a production knife, you know, no issues at all. And the action is really nice. Again, it's it's beautiful. It's, absolutely beautiful i can't wait to get this out in the sun see these bolsters shine take some gorgeous pictures i already got a few wallets and some other stuff i'm going to set up to right next to it to really kind of pop it all out oh wow okay if i'm not mistaken these little screws are mogudai that that is crazy. Not sure why that if they're gonna do that, they didn't follow through on the big pivot screw, but that is insane. Well, maybe not. I don't know what they are then, because this is clearly silver. But that looks like Mokutai. Or Timascus, or whatever you want to call it. Um, same name. Or Anyways, um, so again, 65, it's only 65 because it's a full custom. Otherwise, probably an 85, maybe even a 90. There are problems, but they're not anything really deal breaker. Um, just as far as how much a custom knife costs and the whole hand workmanship of it all, you kind of got to be really, really critical of, you know, everything. If I were to have made this and I noticed these things, I would fix them. Now, this would not leave my shop until it was just absolute perfection, which is also why I don't make knives, because I would drive myself crazy making sure everything is absolutely perfect. I have made knives before. They actually sold pretty well. Um, if you find any of them out there, good for you. I made maybe seven or eight of them. Um, but... uh. I drove myself absolutely crazy. So this kind of drives me absolutely crazy that this would be able to be let out of his shop um, with these issues. So I'm rambling like I always do. So with that being said, thank you all for your time. Thank you so very much. I love you all so, so very much. This community is amazing. You all continue to impress me and surprise me every single day. I just love you. You know, I, I really have to to just specify and really use that very strong word. It isn't like, like doesn't quite sum it up. I love you guys. From the bottom of my heart, have a good day. Please remember to be kind to each other. Just take a moment today to do something nice for somebody. And I do promise you'll be a better person today, or excuse me, better person tomorrow than you are today. Take care.